Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com and if you get past the glare you see I have a precision drill stand. Now I'm going to be doing a bit of unboxing and yes this is a drill stand but I'm not going to quite use it for a drill stand but the first thing I wanted to do was a bit of an unboxing. I've seen this umpteen times on Amazon so uh, I've got a project in mind so I figured this is inexpensive. It's about 44 bucks. Um, I've got you know three or four drill presses already it's not like I needed another drill press but I got some ideas however first I want to share this with you because maybe you need a drill press or maybe you know something like this works for you so I want to share this with you guys first in an unboxing and then we'll sort of get in a few episodes where I'm going with this but let's get this out of the box for the time being Okay, so I've got it out of the package, and here's basically what you get. So now here is the head, and this is the main piece I'm, I'm interested in. And this is the little handle with the knob, and this obviously screws in. And one of the things I liked about this is this, had a, this has a single handle uh, adjustment, and it is, does seem to be spring-loaded, which I'm going to have to work on for my application, but we should be able to deal with it. There is uh, a guide marker in here, um, so this is spring loaded, so when you pull it down, it does want to return. Uh, here's the base. Uh, in general, you know, for 44 bucks, it looks a, a fair quality. Um, I have to be honest, though, for 44 bucks, probably for a couple more bucks, you could get a dedicated drill press. But the idea is, is this is supposed to be able to receive that, but. I don't quite see how that's going to receive that because most of the uh, cordless ones have a clutch on them or most modern drills have a clutch on them. Um, it does come with some different adapters for some um, different drill sizes and, and tools. Uh, myself, I'm going to look more so to put a, a Dremel type tool in here. So that probably gives away a little bit of what I'm going to do with it here in the future. Uh, outside of that, it's pretty simple. This just mounts in this base down here, and it does have a it does have a pass through if I get it in, and uh, it does have some hex bolts. Okay, so I've assembled it, basically, um, and I've got it together. Now, one of the pieces I forgot to mention is this head also swivels. There's on the back here two hex bolts that you have to loosen up and it swivels. Also, this head has a couple Allen or hex bolts that loosen up, and you can slide it up or down, and it's got a bit of an end stop. Um, and then we put the... Um, indicator on here for the head so we can see the distance it moves. I'm still looking for a good way to actually lock this head uh, in, into place. Now one of the other pieces as I've mentioned I really don't have a drill that's got a collar that this will fit to really show you guys how it'll work. Um, however the one piece I did want to show you guys is the diameter because that's one thing I had an interest in and it's about 43 and a half roughly. Now this has uh, this cinch is about 2.8 and there's a couple of these uh, adapters that come in here that slip in here. Now I was looking with my um, Dremel tool and was kind of looking and this I don't you know this piece is tapered here so this doesn't fit well but what I'm going to do and you kind of get a hint where this is going to be going a little bit is I'm going to Infusion 360 design and print a retaining ring for this to receive my Dremel tool to go in the top of it. So if I were to rotate this this way, you kind of got to move the handle to rotate it, it'll go in this way. Now the kind of interesting thing is, uh, you know, also I'll be able to use it, um, uh, you know, as a grinder or something if I want to turn the head this way, but I still have to figure out uh, how to really cinch it. And I've got a couple different ideas because the piece is, this head is sort of dovetailed into this piece and you can see there's a jib right here and there's also jib adjustments. It, it feels pretty tight and it feels pretty good. The spring is um, actually pretty strong in this. 
So I'll have to come up with something. I'm not sure what these um, uh, actually for. I looked at the instructions. They all appear to be in Mandarin, uh, but it, it really doesn't have any pictures of where anything goes. So I can't really tell you what those are for, but it goes together. The general build, again, as I've already mentioned, is pretty good. So it's mostly cast. This um, I won't call it iron because it is it's still pretty light, but it's definitely not aluminum. Uh, but for 44 bucks, I think it's worth the money, and especially for the project I want to undertake with this, it's definitely worth the money. So, anyways, if you've got any questions on this, I'd be happy to answer uh, answer them. Or if you need measurements, or you're kind of curious, I'll have a link to this down below. I've got it off of Amazon. And again, as we go through this project, um, you know, I'm going to build this into a. Oh, I. I forgot, I can't tell you what I'm going to build this into. You're going to have to stay tuned and see what this becomes because it's not going to be a drill press. Though the next video, you'll get a little bit more of a hint. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, please give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions, as always, feel free to ask down below. And we'll catch you guys in the next video where we do something else pretty cool with this or something related. Oh, don't forget the bell button, subscribe, swag shop up there, and cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.